But what's happening in that moment is worship. What's happening in that moment is little Johnny is saying, you, mom, are in the way of me worshiping what I want to worship. I want to be God. I want to call the shots. I want to speak and it comes into existence. I want to speak and people obey. I want to be at the center of my universe and you are getting in the way of that and that is bugging me. You're keeping me from worshiping my idol. That's what's happening in that, in that moment. We've got to get a hold of that as parents. That's a, that's a worship moment. And so our job is to daily, regularly, a hundred times a day if necessary, gently, consistently direct our children's worship back to Jesus. Now, it'll look differently for a five-year-old than it will with a 15-year-old. I get that. But that's what we have to be about. Because if we don't, our three-year-old, four-year-old, five-year-old will put themselves at the center of the universe and fight to stay there. And as Paul Tripp says, that is the one place you can never let your children go if you love them. If you let your children work to the center of the universe and live from there, you will lie to them about the reality of the universe. That is a place for God and God alone. And some of you are struggling with the teenagers who have put themselves at the center of their universe. What they think, what they want, what they need, their agenda, their plan, their feelings, that's what matters. And if you don't orient your life, mom, dad, to meet my needs, I'm going to gripe and make your life miserable, so you better bow. For I am God, and there is no other. That's what's happening in those moments. And if we're not clear on why God's put us here as parents, we won't respond rightly, and we won't endure. Because that's what you've got to do as parents. Children are born worshipers, and they're born worshiping the wrong things, because children make up lousy, lousy idols.